So we're back here again. We got some parts to work on this thing. We're gonna get her up, do a little bit of work to the front end, fix up this. Steering's always been an issue on this. If you guys remember, I actually broke this off, so then I welded it, and now all the bolts have come loose. So that's a pretty easy fix. We're gonna fix the shifter, we're gonna fix this front corner, and this car is gonna be ready to rock again. So you guys ready to work on her? Let's get going. What we're going to be doing to this passenger side, sorry, driver side, is we're going to be welding this ball joint in, just a couple tack welds so it's easy to cut at a later date, and then we're going to be removing this one, which is cutting these welds here, removing the retaining clip on the bottom, pounding this up, removing this completely, and then sliding the new ball joint in, which I did go and buy from Napa, it was like $37. So let's get started on this. It's going to be a little bit of work, but it ain't going to be that bad. Get a lot of stuff from when I built this car. So if what you guys are wondering is these are oof, I have to let that cool down a bit more. These are um, slide-ins from the bottom. So this hole is actually taped and I probably went over this when I made burn barrel but it's been so long. It's probably been two years since I actually made this car. Those are some nice stick welds. But um, I had to grind this down because the top is a lot more narrow than the bottom. We had to grind the ball joint down a bit. I uh, put some WD, put a little C-clamp on one side and just tapped the other so it kind of came down evenly. Pressure with tapping, right? And then we gave it some tack welds. Now, we did weld it in a spot where that if this breaks again, it can easily be cut off and replaced because there's nothing like welding one of these on there and then realizing you have to replace it and then you have to grind all inside of here and it's really hard to get at. So we're just gonna let this cool down a bit and then we're gonna reinstall the ball joint nut the spindle, all that fun stuff. Um, I did notice that there was a loose ball joint on the passenger side. Now, I don't know. This car here has been through quite a bit, so it's trying to figure out what's going on, I guess. Uh, I did notice a problem with the rad hoses. I'm gonna shorten that up because it's actually kinked so the water's not getting through. And then after that, we'll move to the interior and we will start uh, fixing up what needs to be done on the interior. This thing here will we'll be, be ready to rock probably within the next two hours. So maybe we can uh, convince them to take it for a test drive. See, let you guys see her run again. And drive again. So let's get this ball joint all done back up. Hopefully, it don't burn my damn fingers. Oh, she's cooled down a little bit more now. Ooh, still warm. I did read the paperwork on this ball joint and it says if the boot is not installed correctly, your warranty is void. So if you guys ever buy parts with warranty, the last thing you want to do is void that warranty. So make sure you properly install your boot again. Uh, I tried to say that with a straight face, but probably came out all weird. Whatever. I'm fine with that. Okay, so now I just have to cut this off. Hell not out. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've done a lot of work to this thing already. As you can see, the tack welds on the upper ball joint, the ball, lower ball joint put in and tightened. And then if you come over to this side, we tightened up this lower ball joint, and then we put some tack welds on the upper ball joint, and then we fixed the rad hose so she's not as crimped as bad. And then what else? I don't know, I think we're gonna throw the tires back on now and then turn our attention to the interior because the interior does need a little bit of work. Uh, he's saying that he's hitting park in the shifter, so we gotta fix that, and then the steering wheel, and we have to fix that. And then everything's going pretty good so far. Well, burn barrel is done. All, well, I guess I can't call it burn barrel anymore because it's not my car. But the tie rods are done, the steering is done, the ball joints are done, the actual steering shaft itself is done, the shifter's been tightened, uh, we found a couple problems with um, the brakes, not the brakes, the engine oil, that's been fixed, the radiator's been fixed, the throttle cable's been fixed, even put more fuel into it. This thing is ready to rock. So if you guys would like to see it come to a derby near you, pay attention. And uh, I did notice that uh, my in-car cam was left in this, not the camera, but just the holder. So maybe next time this thing runs and I'm there, I can put an in-car cam in it for you guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow, guys.